Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Talk. My name's Chase, and today we're gonna to be discussing how to properly clean your SeaKeeper gyro. All right guys, so today we're out on the Open 282. It's equipped with the SeaKeeper 1 gyro. Um, but this is something that we really want to focus on, especially on the Seakeeper 2 and the Seakeeper 3 that are not in a housing. So you can actually get to the inside and hit some of those internal components. But all we're going to be doing today is just giving a light rinse. So just kind of going over the unit. As you can see, I got my hose in a nice wide pan. I'm not spraying anything directly. Don't want to hit any of the electrical components directly. Just a nice light rinse. Um, and you can think of this as flushing your motor. Obviously, with running your outboard hard all day in salt water, it's always a good idea to flush it and get that fresh water through all the internal components. This is the same principle, and it's just as easy as that, guys. All right, guys, thanks for watching this short video on how to clean your Seakeeper gyro. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, like and subscribe. And if you have anything that you guys would like to see from us, please email us at the address listed below. We'll see you next time.